Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to the second day of analyzing the analyzing the AWR report. So in our previous video, we saw about the analysis of day one. And today in this video, we are going to see about the analysis of the AWR report, the day two. So what I'm going to see today is we're going to see the load profile. So that's the first part and that's another important most critical part which we have to monitor and we have to analyze it so here i have come up with the sample report so this using this i will take you through the part of how to analyze and what all the things which we have to be uh, worried about or we have to make tunings so first let me take you through the metric so the first metric is the db time and the cpu utilization and here you could see the db time Per second is 2.3 and per transaction is 7.1 and again for the dbus db cpu it's 0.3 per second and 0.9 so first i will tell you what is the analysis and also i will then tell you what or is that a proper uh, utilization or is that more or is that lower or is, is there any bottleneck so the first thing is the analysis of these two metrics so the db time and the db cpu so the database time indicates that the database is spending approximately 2.3 seconds for every second and 7.1 second per transaction on various activities so the cpu utilization is relatively low with 3. Point, so sorry 0 0.3 seconds per second and 0 0.9 seconds per transaction which we can see here in the first two lines so this suggests that the database is not under heavy load and there is a lot of room for increased workload so which means it is being underutilized and there is no bottleneck with the db time and the db cpu and then the next part is the input output and the parsing metric so here we can see the physical reads the physical writes the parses and then the hard parser so what do they say so the physical reads here we can see which is around 2704.9 and then the physical writes is around 86.9 and then we have the parses which is 2.0 and the hard parses is zero so what do we understand with this metrics or with this value so the physical reads and writes are within reasonable limits which indicates a balanced io subsystem and the low number of parses and absences of hard parses so here we can see the parses and the hard parses these suggest that there is an efficient reuse of sql statements which contributes to the good performance Right. So, the, if, so since the parses and the hard parses are, are very low, which is around 2 and 0 0.00, which says that the SQL statements are efficiently used. So in case if you are seeing this in a higher number, in a higher quantity, or if it has been increased, then we can easily understand or we can easily say that the SQL statements are not efficient and they are not efficiently reused. And then the next important metrics are the redo size, the user calls, here you can see the user calls and then the executes and then the transaction so the reason which i'm going through back and forth is i'm giving you in the order of the most important metrics so the first set of metrics are the db time and the db cpu the database time and the database cpus and the next important metrics are the physical reads the physical writes the parses and the hard parses and now the last set of important metrics are the redo size which is the third one you can see here and then the user calls under the physical right so you can see and then the executes and then the transaction so what's the analysis of the report says okay so the redo, redo size per second is 800.5 per second the user calls is 2.2 per second and the executes is 3.7 and then the transaction is 0.3 so the analysis says that the redo size here is moderate which indicates a reasonable level of transactional activity the user calls and executes so here you can see the user calls and executes they are relatively low which suggests a moderate workload so overall using this load profile we can understand the, the load profile metrics suggest that the database is not under significant stress the database is quite cool it's running fine the cpu utilization is within the acceptable limits and the io operations are balanced the workload appear appears manageable but further investigation into the specific sql statements and the transaction patterns may reveal opportunities for optimization so next we'll move on to the second part which is the instance 
efficient percentage so what does this say so here you can see the top two metrics which is the buffer hit percentage and the redo no weight percentage so the buffer hit percentage is 100 percent and the redo no weight is 99.96 percentage so the analysis of these two metrics tells us that since the buffer hit percentage of 100 indicates that there is an efficient usage of the buffer cache with all requests satisfied from the cache and the redo no weight percentage which you can see at the top one of 99.96 percent suggests efficient handling of redo log writes so these values are excellent which indicates there is an optimal performance in terms of cache utilization and redo log efficiency the next metrics are the in memory sort the library hit percentage the soft parse percentage here you can see and then the execute to parse the parse cpu to parse elapsed the percentage non parse cpu so these are the next six metrics in the order of importance so the memory the in memory so here you can see the first part the in memory sort and the library cache hit percentages are outstanding based on the values which we observe here which suggests there is an efficient memory utilization for sorting and sql statement caching and next the soft percentage which is high which indicates a high level of SQL statement reuse. So the execute to parse percentage and the parse CPU to parse elapsed percentage are relatively low, which suggests there's a room for improvement in SQL execution efficiency. And the percentage non-parse CPU is high, which indicates that a significant portion of CPU time is spent on non-parsing activities. So that's how this particular report tells us and this is what we could analyze from the results and then the next part which is the latch hit percentage which you can see is 99.83 and then the shared pool memory usage percentage we have and then the percentage sql with executions and the percentage memory to sql so the latch hit percentage and then the shared pool statistics the shared pool memory usage here you can see is 79.94 which is at the beginning and then at the end it is around 81.20 and then we have the percentage sql with execution which is greater than one and it starts at 97.06 but at the end it's around 82.84 and then the percentage memory for sql with execution is which is more than one is around 94.55 at the beginning and then it ends at 79.61 so the analysis of these four metrics tells us that the latch hit percentage is excellent which indicates there is an efficient use of latches the shared pool memory usage percentage here which is within the reasonable limits the percentage sql with executions which is greater than one and mem percentage memory for sql with execution which is greater than one suggest good sql statement reuse but there's a decrease from the beginning to the end of the reporting period so here you can see for both the metrics there is a higher percentage but during the end it has been it has come down so the conclusion of these four metrics tells us that the efficiency percentage indicates a well optimized database in terms of buffer cache in terms of redo log and memory usage however there are areas for potential improvement in sql execution efficiency and a slight decrease in sql statement reuse towards the end of the reporting period so here you can see at the beginning it's more higher but towards the end there is a slight decrease in sql statement reuse towards the end of the reporting period so the overall conclusion of these metrics are the database appears to be performing well with a manageable workload and efficient resource utilization the instance efficiency percentage particularly in buffer cache and redo log efficiency reflect optimal performance However, there are opportunities for further optimization in SQL execution efficiency and potentially managing SQL statement reuse over time. So before I complete, let me give you a quick overview on the important metrics. So the first metric is the DB time and DB CPU utilization. So the DB time is the metric that represents the total database time per second. And it's a sum of the time that's spent on various activities, which include CPU time, the IO weights and other weights. 
and then we have the per transaction which is the average database time per transaction and it provides insights into the efficiency of the database operations for each transaction and then we have the per execution which indicates the average database time for each SQL statement execution and then we have the per call for the DB time which represents the average database time for each database call and then we have the per second which for the DB CPU which represents the CPU time used by the database per second and then the same way for the per transaction and per execution and per call so they are the metrics which indicates the average CPU time used per transaction and then some of the other metrics which are the which is under the redo size we have the percentage second and percentage transaction and then we have the logical reads we have the physical reads and physical writes which is the number of physical reads per second and per transaction and the number of physical writes per second and per transaction and then we have some of the important metrics which are the user calls and hard parses and some of the other metrics are the logons the executes the rollbacks and the transactions so just a quick a brief on the other metrics for the instance efficiency percentages so the buffer no weight is the percentage of request for a buffer that did not require waiting a high percentage indicates efficient usage of the buffer cache and the buffer hit percentage indicates the percentage of buffer request satisfied by the buffer cache without having to read from disk and a value of 100% suggests optimal cache usage and then we have the redo no wait which is the percentage of redo log requests that did not require waiting a high percentage indicates efficient usage of the redo log so these are some of the critical metrics which i wanted you to keep in mind so with that i come to an end until i meet you in our next video on the aw analysis it's bye bye from us and let us love